Hey guys, Orvis25 here, and welcome to another episode of Does It Work, where today we're going to go ahead and take a look at this guy right here. Now this is a Penang Universal USB uh, backup power bank. Um, it's rated at 10,000 milliamp hours, has an LCD indicator, and works with anything that will charge via USB. Um, on the back it's got a whole bunch of stuff and a little confirmation sticker to make sure that it's genuine. I trust that it's genuine. I'm not going to go through the effort of scratching that off because when I test this it's exactly as it says it is. Uh, kind of ruining the spoilers there but you know whatever. Um, so mine is definitely genuine because if it wasn't genuine it would definitely not have been as good as what I rated it at. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into this and open it up. So what do you get in the box? Inside the box You get a USB cable to charge your device with. Um, I didn't actually use this thing to test, uh, so I'm not exactly 100% sure, but it looks kind of thick, so I'd assume it's at least 1.5 amp, uh, but don't quote me on that. I have my own 2.5 amp rated cables that I use to charge all my devices. Um, you have an operation guide which is actually written in decent English and it has a lot of diagrams and stuff to explain how to use the thing so I'm um, actually pretty impressed with that and then you have the actual device itself so what do you get inside this device well you get a little LCD indicator so that when you actually turn on the device it'll tell you its charge percentage it'll tell you out but below it there's two other little uh, LEDs that'll say 2.1A or 1.0A, which are talking about these. You have two outputs on here. You have the one on the left, which is a 2.1 amp output. The center one is your 5 volt, 5 volt input charging. And on the right, you have your 1 amp output. Now, this thing is rated at 1.1 amp output total for both USBs. So if you want to charge two devices, you can go ahead and plug one in here and one in here. But you're only going to get 1 amp out of both of them. Uh, if you have one device that you have w that you want to charge and you plug it into the 2.1 amp um, and nothing plugged into this side, which is the 1 amp, you're actually going to get 2 amps out of this. Um, I confirmed this with my tests, so uh, that is true. Uh, you can stretch it a little bit more. You can force this thing to output about 2.5 amps before it will shut itself off to prevent damage, but um, you know this thing has its own internal circuit that's going to try to figure out the proper charging. Um, anyway, so it's not going to do that normally, regardless. So, of course, being this a Chinese product, you have to test it to make sure that it's actually doing what it says it's doing. So, I'm just going to quickly run through this. Um, so, they claim it's 10,000 milliamp hours, so, but that's in 3.75 volts because these use 3.75 volt batteries. Anything that you're going to charge is a 5 volt, so you need to convert it to 5 volts. So you go ahead and you take 10,000 milliamp hours, multiply it by 3.7, you're going to get 37,000, divide that by 5, boom, you got 7,400 milliamp hour estimated battery capacity for this device. Now this is just a rough estimate, so um, you know, just take it with a grain of salt. Um, their advertised efficiency at 2, point, at 2 amp discharge is 53.5% and at 1 amp discharge is 63% efficiency. Their advertised actual usable um, milliamp, you know, actual usable energy, um, if you're using the 2 amp only is uh, 5,350 milliamp hours and at 1 amp is 6,300 milliamp hours. So that's what they're claiming. Now down here, this is what I've actually tested. So. I went ahead and drained this entire thing from zero or from 100% down to zero and charged it back up just to, just to get a baseline for all these other tests. So, charging. This claims that it can charge at 2 amps. It can, right off the bat. Charging it at 2 amps over a period of 6 hours and 17 minutes, I was able to put in uh, 8,831 milliamp hours into the power bank. And then testing its discharge at the 1 amp capacity, um, I was able to draw out 6,531 milliamp hours over an, a period of 5 hours and 54 minutes. That efficiency rating, as you can see down here, is 74%. Uh, how I came up with that is you go ahead and you take what you got out of it divided by what you were able to put into it, and you have a 74% efficiency, which is at the 1 amp above what they claim. So that's good. Um, at 2 amp, went ahead and charged it back up over a period of 6 hours and 10 minutes. I was able to put in 8,858 milliamp hours 
um, going from 0% to 100%, and discharging it at 2.1 amp, which is its rated maximum output, I was able to draw out 6,685 milliamp hours over a period of 3 hours and 9 minutes. You go ahead and plug that in and do the division, and you get an energy efficiency rate of 75%, which is phenomenally higher than what they have their advertised energy efficiency at. Uh, so that's good. Uh, so that's all the sciencey stuff done. So what's the like overall opinion on this thing? Um, I guess uh, to relate it to the title of the series, does it work? Yes. Does it work well? Yes. Does it do everything that it claims it does? Yes. Does it do it better than what it claims it does? Yes. Um, so overall, I'm I'm actually quite happy with this device. Um, it um, in in its testing, um, it tested above what it claimed its uh, efficiency was at converting from 3.75 volts to 5 volts. Um, it tested above its uh, claimed uh, battery capacity, at, at least once you convert it to 5 volt. Um, so that's good. Um, its energy efficiency at 2.1 amp is actually really good. I expect it to be way worse. Uh, I expected it actually to be down in the 50%, not staying up in the 75%, so that's really good. Um, and uh, just overall, I think the construction quality of this thing is really good. It's got some nice heft to it, which to me indicates there are actually pretty good batteries in here. I love that it has an LCD, especially at its price range. Um, and I just think the overall quality is actually really good. Um, but that's pretty much it. So uh, if you guys are interested in picking up one of these uh, power banks for yourself, uh, go ahead and check the link in the description. I will have a direct link to a store uh, where you can purchase one. And... Uh, that's pretty much it. Over 25, signing off. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to find my latest videos, you can go ahead and click right here. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like to know where you can get the best deals on games and get them for up to 75% off, go ahead and click the link in the description. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter to keep up to date. I hope you all have a good rest of your day.